Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Aldar and today we are diving into the wonderful world of hobbies and how they impact on our emotional well-being. But before we begin, have you ever heard of Bob Ross? Well, whether you are familiar with him or not, let's explore the power of hobbies in enhancing our lives. In today's fast-paced world, hobbies often take a back seat to passive activities like scrolling throughout social media or being watching TV shows. But what if I told you that investing time in hobbies can significantly benefit our mental health? You see, I've always had a passion for art, dating back to my childhood days. Despite struggling with drawing in school, I decided to revisit painting recently. And you know what? It's been a transformative experience. I opt for a Bob Ross class for its simplicity and calming vibes. His passion for painting is congracious. Not only did I paint, but I also experimented with texture art, stepping out of my comfort zone to explore new possibilities. Now let's dive into the process. I tried this technique for the first time. At first glance it looks easy, but you have to pay attention for the following parameters. What kind of putty you use? Have a plan or sketch before you start doing it? What additional tools you will use? For this work I use different methods to see which one is better for the future work. It was kind of a test. The first work is done with this putty and sketch prepared beforehand. Also, as a method of applying putty was chosen any plastic bag with a cut-off end. Here is an important not to cut off more than necessary. What disadvantages it has? After drying it cracks, which in my opinion gives a little spoiled view of the picture. This will be clearly visible on the third variant. Also, it's not white in color, but grey. And if you plan not to cover it with paint, it looks a little unattractive in my opinion. Also around the perimeter I taped the margins with painter's tape, which in the future, in my opinion, made the picture pretty and more structured. The second version was using this variant of putty. Looking ahead, it performs the best. The color is deep white, no crackling after drying. The third variant I made with the use sealer and stapler. Not a bad option to make straight, clear lines and don't go beyond the boundaries. But as in all options, it's important to plan that you had before, so that it was not a random drawing like mine. I call this work Sandy Beach. Since the party was first, you can see the crackles after drying. All work I let dry 24 hours and the next day I covered it with this paint. The paint is insanely beautiful and saves any work, rich color and good setting. Of minuses after drying has a smell that does not give a hang in the house even on the next day. You need a lot of time to eat weatherhead to take this into account. Before painting all the work with the first party, I process with the sandpaper.
and these are the results this is i say it was a test and in the future i plan to return to this with already gained experience Before I started, I covered the canvas with liquid white. Bob Ross always used the wet on wet technique, which allows you to mix colors more gradient. I didn't have this color and made it at home by mixing one to one titanium white and linseed oil. From the very beginning, I had problems with the purple color, so do not judge strictly, I'm just learning.
All works have given me the main peace and understanding that here I can do what I want. As Bob says, we don't make mistakes, we are the creators of their work, so it's unique for everyone. And voila, I am thrilled with the results. Painting not only provided a creative outlet, but also allowed me to reconnect with my inner child, finding joy in the simple act of creating. Drawing may not be your cup of tea, but that's okay. The key is to find a hobby that resonates with you. Need help deciding? Here are some tips. Firstly, determine what you truly desire. Is this creativity, challenge or social connection? Reflect on your childhood passions and current interests. And don't be afraid to try different hobbies until you find the perfect fit. Now let's talk about the benefits. Engaging in hobbies regularly can boost self-esteem, reduce stress and promote a state of flow where you're fully immersed in the activity. Plus, hobbies often lead to a new friendship, fostering a sense of belonging. Remember, making time for hobbies is making time for yourself. Whether it's a gardening, cooking or sport, prioritize activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Your mental health will thank you. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on self-care and well-being. Until next time. And remember, it always seems impossible until it's done. See you.